the next one, which kind of goes along with the one I just said. If your Mormon friend is really a Christian just like you, does that mean you believe mankind must believe Joseph Smith was a prophet of God in order to get into heaven? Huh. I have another video that I found interesting. Um, it's, it's a guy that quotes one of the presidents of uh, Mormonism. It's, it's in the Mormon uh, temple or church that they're teaching it from. Um, it's 14 fundamentals of following a prophet. I'm only going to show, I think, four, and then it'll cut off. Um, but notice what he says about following a prophet in salvation. It does not sit well with the soul. Go ahead and uh, show that. Trusting in and following the prophets is more than a blessing and a privilege. President Ezra Taft Benson declared that our very salvation hangs on following a prophet. He described what he called 14 fundamentals in following the prophet. In the session this morning, Elder Claudio Costa of the Presidency of the Seventy so eloquently instructed us on these 14 fundamentals. Because they are of such great importance to our very salvation, I will repeat them again. One, the prophet is the only man who speaks for the Lord in everything. Two, the living prophet is more vital to us than the standard works. Three, the living prophet is more important to us than a dead prophet. Four, the prophet will never lead the church astray. And it goes on for a few more. Um, oh, geez. Uh, prophets, following a prophet in the Mormon church um, is a way to attain salvation. Um, it's, it's just... Um, here's a quote. There is no greater prophet in any dispensation than Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith was a prophet, and in, all, uh, and in all the calamity and aspirations to the contrary cannot convert that fact. Anyone who has concern for the welfare of his eternal soul should give attention to this message. Every man who has lived since the days of Joseph Smith is subject to accepting him as a prophet of God in order to enter into our Heavenly Father's presence. You have to accept Joseph Smith was a prophet. It means everything he said was true if you want to enter into God's presence. This concurs with what Brigham Young said. For the day that the priesthood was taken from the earth to the winding up scene of all things, every man and woman must have the certificate of Joseph Smith Jr. as a passport to their inheritance into the mansion where God and Christ are. I with you and you with me. I cannot go there without His consent. They make the man sound a lot like Jesus, don't they? Mormons aren't Christians because they believe that you must accept Joseph Smith as a prophet of God in order to enter into God's presence. The Bible teaches that the only way into God's presence is through Jesus Christ. Did you know that Joseph Smith once prophesied that the United States government would be overthrown in the 1800s? Prophesied. He also prophesied that the New Jerusalem would be built in Missouri in his generation. It's not there yet. He died a while back. Brigham Young once prophesied that the Civil War would fail to end black slavery. Brigham Young also said that the sun and moon were inhabited. I don't even know what to think about that. They're prophets. They're prophecies. You're not a prophet if you throw a bunch of stuff up against the wall that's future tense, and when one thing sticks out of a hundred, you say, Look, I'm a prophet. It happened. It came true. Hallelujah. Look at me. What about the other 90% of the stuff that you said that didn't come true? What does that make you? It makes you lucky on that one. The Bible declares that Jesus is the Christian's living prophet. And it is Jesus whom Christians must listen to and obey, not Joseph Smith. Moses wrote in Deuteronomy 18.15, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own brothers. You must listen to him. Jesus said in John 5.46, If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. Acts 3.22, For Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from, your, from among your own people. You must listen to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from among his people. Jesus was the only one whom the prophecies in the Old Testament were made about. Jesus was not merely a messenger of revelation from God, but was the source of revelation from God. You don't need a certificate from Joseph Smith 
as a passport into God's presence. You need a certificate called the blood of Christ to get into God's presence. 